Here's what you can expect when you run the code in this LabVIEW project. There is a single VI RT main. It's opened up here. Let's go ahead and run this VI. Let's examine this zone called timed loop number one. This is a timed loop on the RT target. We can key in the desired time or desired loop time and then see the actual time. And this blinker is also visible on LED zero. You might try some different values. You can type in numbers directly. You can also use the up down arrow on the control. We have a second parallel timed loop, time loop number two. This one has frames. The first frame is the reference frame. And then all of the remaining frames are delayed according to some number. So the we have one frame delayed by 250 milliseconds and another by 750 milliseconds. Now, the um, folder path list is used to um, insert some CPU burden, if you will, on the time loop. Normally in a time loop you want everything to be done as quickly as possible so as not to affect the determinism. And so I'm listing the folders on every iteration at the moment, every half a second, and we see that it's able to keep up just fine. Let me choose a folder that has a, a lot more files going on, in this case thousands of files, and the loop no longer is able to meet the timing requirement. We requested 500 milliseconds and it requires three times as long.